Hello and welcome to my first ever YouTube video. Um, I'm really excited today to share with you my everyday makeup look. <laughs> um, it's a really easy one and I feel like it's one that anyone can have a go at. It's great if you've just got 10-15 minutes in the morning and you just want to look, look a little bit more bright and put together. So if you would like to see how I got this look then please keep watching. Okay, so let's get started. Um, so I'm assuming at this point that we've already cleansed and moisturized and everything um i feel like that's super important because um you want to have a clean base to start on and a smooth one which obviously you're not going to be able to get um if your skin needs to be cleansed <laughs> so by the way apologies if i keep looking down all my makeup is here i've not really figured out this setup yet i feel like i just in the last 10 minutes my respect for youtubers has just gone through the roof because there is a lot involved like i honestly just thought i would set my phone up and off you go but there's lighting there's um you know where do you put your makeup do you need a mirror like there's a lot involved okay so to start i'm using the hourglass veil mineral primer i'm not going to do the beauty blogger thing where they hold it up um not because i don't know how i do <laughs> but because most of my products don't look so cute um, just from years of being in a makeup bag. So on the topic of primer, I feel like primer is, I don't know, a bit of a myth, which probably sounds really crazy. I, for years, I never used primer ever. I only recently started probably like maybe two years ago. Um, and Look, it definitely like tightens my pores and stuff. But as far as keeping my makeup on longer or anything, I really don't feel like it does. Anyone else? So how cute is the top I'm wearing? This was one of the ones that I bought for um, that Europe trip that I didn't get to go on. Yay. Crying inside. Okay, foundation. I'm using um, the CoverGirl True Blend Matte Made Foundation. It wasn't until I watched, it was Chloe Morello actually. Um, and she did a video about it. And look, I'm pretty sure it was sponsored, let's be honest. But I just thought it was such a, cause she was talking about how she hates powdering her face. And I was like, girl, yes. Um, and so I thought, you know what? Like, even though it probably is a sponsored thing, like I do quite, I really trust her as an influencer and a lot of, um, products she's suggested in the past um, have worked really well for me I think we have quite similar skin skin types so I gave it a go and let me tell you amazing so yeah how cute is that bit of like makeup ASMR <laughs> step is concealer now I I do have dark under eye circles, let's be honest. I know that there's a whole process to remove them, like you do the colour correcting, baking. and But, you know, for my everyday look, I just want to look cute without a huge amount of effort because I am not a morning person. And if you see me in the morning, I'm like, uh, don't speak to me. So <laughs> I'm not going to be spending 20 minutes baking. You know what I'm saying? On that note, concealer, MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. And look at the difference like look at that mm -mm -mm. looks like we got like an extra eight hours sleep or something okay other eye <laughs> now I move on to bronzer benefit hula okay so one trick I learned the other day as well is about the placement of your bronzer so I always thought you put it sort of like where your cheekbone is but this video I was watching the girl actually put it above so more like that as opposed to that. Um, and what she was saying is that the product will actually melt into your face and melt down. So if you do it higher, by the time it melts, it's at the perfect spot, as opposed to putting it on your cheekbone and then it kind of drags your face down. Um, and I tried it and it made such a difference. So yeah, give it a go. Give it a go. So blush, 
believe it or not, I'm not going to use my blush bar palette for blush. I know, crazy. I'm actually going to use a KKW Beauty um, blush, the Flower Wall blush. Now, I, I'm pretty sure because this was part of that collection, it's limited edition. So apologies, babies, if you see this and you're like, oh my god, I have to buy it. You can't. It's just the perfect colour. It's completely matte, it's a bit peachy, it's a bit, bit pink. Yeah, I'm a big fan. Cute! Okay, highlighter. No matter what, I always go back to my MAC Soft and Gentle. Look at that. Yeah! And then if I'm feeling cute, I might do a little bit down the nose. And now, brows. Disclaimer before I start my brows. When I'm doing my brows, you are going to be sitting there completely horrified. Like, you'll be tempted to click out and be like, WTF, her brows look horrific. I hear you, and I agree, but just stick with me, okay? Because the process looks just so bad, but the outcome I feel is quite good. So stick with me. First, I'm gonna highlight. So I've got one of those really like flat brushes, um, and I'm just gonna go in with, I really should have cleaned this. Hmm. The Ciate, Ciate London. Chloe Morello Pretty Fun and Fearless Palette. I really should clean this. I don't even really want to show you, like, I'm kind of embarrassed. Um, it's all, like, really neutral kind of colours. And so I'm just taking this one, which is the My Tribe, which is just a really um, creamy colour, just under the brows. I use the MAC... I want to say it says deluxe brow liner. I don't know. Anyway, it looks like this. It's got the spoolie on one end and then the pencil on the other. So this is the deep brunette. But I just go directly onto the brow. Yeah, I literally just go in and kind of fill in where my natural brows are. And drag that line further down down how cute does that look <laughs> i know only you could do brows as cute as me okay then i take this angled brush now this is just an eyeliner brush from memory um you can use one of those lip like lipstick ones too and I just take it back and I just really drag the product out and get that line underneath really straight. So then I just go back over the line here just to ensure it's really sort of defined. And then this is the most important step. So I remove a lot of the product. So I just go back to my foundation brush and I just brush the product up. And you can see that makes so much difference because it just looks a lot more natural and blended. Onto eyeshadow. So going back to the Pretty Fun and Fearless palette. So taking, I will show you the palette, just don't judge me. All right, so I'm gonna be using these two colors in the crease. So I'm starting off with that lighter colour skinny dip and just putting that in my crease. And as you can see as well, I'm dragging it sort of quite high up. That's so when I look straight on, you can still see that colour. And now I'm going to go in with that slightly darker. Can you even see that? This one, slightly darker. to the lid just taking an like a little paddle brush I like to switch between like a champagne rose gold and a true gold and that's that sh beautiful champagne rose gold kind of color the good thing about this palette is it's really pigmented so I don't 
um, need to put a heap on. Just gonna go back in with my fluffy brush from before, a little bit more of that lighter brown color and just blend it out. Hold that thought, because we gotta do the under eye. I just take this really tiny little brush and I go back in with that unconditional, which is the slightly darker brown. Sometimes I'll just leave it there and move on to mascara and that's kind of it. Or if I'm wanting to just go one step further, I will just go in with this color which is a slightly darker brown um, and just sort of pat it into my lash line. So I'm just gonna do that now. So my lashes, I don't know if you can see, probably not. They are super long, but they are just like the worst. So <laughs> they're not curly whatsoever. They're not even straight. My lashes look like a roof. Like they just go down literally down and I actually um a fun story I actually booked in for a lash lift and tint because I thought you know what I am literally the dream candidate for this because my lashes are so long but they're just so slopey sloping the wrong way <laughs> um and I was so excited I did heaps of research about like where the best place to go is and all the possible risks and all of that and um, anyway, I get to the salon. The salon was beautiful. Um, and I thought, oh, I can't wait. It's going to look so good. Um, and I had to read one of those, like, oh, what are they called? Like a compliance letter or something. The letters you, you have to sign before you get, like, a facial or a skincare thing done that's different. And, you know, might, you might have an allergic reaction or whatever. Um, and I was reading it and it was all pretty standard. <laughs> And then I got to a line that said, I will not hold the salon accountable for any like possible side effects of the um, procedure. One, one of them being blindness. Like, are you for real? Anyway, and so I freaked out and I went over to the, <laughs> I went to the counter. I said to the girl, oh, um, I was reading this and I noticed it says one of the possible like outcomes <laughs> is going blind. And the girl was like, oh yeah, no, we just have to put that in there. Like, don't even worry. Like, totally brushed it off. And I said to her, yeah, but obviously for it to be in there, like, it has to be a genuine risk. Like, why would they put in there blindness if it wasn't an actual risk? Anyway, the girl just sort of was a bit like, what the fuck? Clearly they don't have customers like me very often. I ended up just like totally just backing out of it. It's actually really good and I switched it and I ended up just getting a facial, so... It all worked out. I was sitting there thinking, are my lashes looking bomb really worth the risk of going blind? Anyway, so we're back with the eyelash curler. Wow, I tell you, got some of my eye, ice, eye skin, <laughs> eyelid. So my absolute holy grail mascara is the Benefit Roller Lash. It is the only or one of very few mascaras I've discovered in this lifetime that actually help. Other eye. One of my other eyelashes even has the nerve to be like an upside down C, like that. Thanks a lot. Okay, I reckon that looks pretty good. I always get mascara on my eyelids, so I'm just going to go back in with that little paddle brush from before. I'm now going in with the Clinique High Impact Mascara, just for my bottom lashes and then a quick coat on top, um, just because I find this sets them better and doesn't... Um, I just feel like it sets them better and it doesn't smudge. Because I just hate always looking like I've balled my eyes out, you know? Lashes done. Really, all we've got left to do is lips. Let me give you a quick tip about lips. So, I do have naturally quite large lips. However, I have got a couple of tips for <laughs> lip tips. Um, 
I have got a couple of tips on how to make them look even bigger. I have a routine. So I will go and brush my teeth. When I finish brushing my teeth, I'll deliberately leave a bit of water on my lips and then I will get a towel and wipe the water off sort of quite rough um, because I find that that like, stimulates the blood in my lips. So not only do they come out more red, but they actually come out bigger. So take note of what my lips look like now. <laughs> um, I'm going to go do that and I'll come back and I'll show you how much better they look. Okay, so I hope you can see how much redder they look. So then I just go in with a little bit of lip balm. And because I'm extra AF, I've actually got a Gucci one. <laughs> um, this is the, it's French, so I'm not going to say it. But it's literally just like a white clear lip balm. Um, it's so, so good and I've really been loving it. Anyway, so I just put a little bit of that on. I really like to change it up with my lipstick. Depending on what shades of eyes I'm doing, what I'm wearing, I will kind of float between probably three or four lip combos. But as this is my everyday look, I thought I would just show you my absolute pinnacle colour combo, which is um, the MAC Whirl Lip Liner and the MAC Mer lipstick. Now I truthfully don't overline my lips um, unless I'm literally just taking photos because I find overlining your lips really only looks good in photos or videos, it doesn't look good in real life. Whenever I'm doing a matte uh, lip, lip, I always like to have a lip balm or a lip gloss on underneath because I just find all the product glides on a lot better and your lips don't get as dry. Now I'll just go in with my lipstick. And we are done. So yeah, this is the finished look. Um, I'm going to take my hair clip out and give it a good old brush and I'll be right back. I hope you like it. As I said, it's really straightforward and easy. I feel like anyone can do it. So I hope you got something out of this video. I hope you liked it. Um, I'm just sort of starting with YouTube. So any feedback, constructive or nice, is welcome. Um, and yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.